Today I will show you how I set up my home studio on a budget using the VM800 and the V8 sound card and how I record to Udacity. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notification of upcoming videos. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Greg. I do photography and vlogs. So without further ado, let's hit that intro. So this is what we need. We have our items here, the BM800 condenser mic, yes, we need our V8 sound card, mm -hmm. we need a cable USB micro to USB. Of course, a headset for our monitoring and the XLR cable. So, for the connections, we only need two of this. I mean, three of this. We need a condenser, input, yes. We need a headset, input and our charging to connect our V8 to our laptop okay first let's connect our microphone to our xlr cable so this is the connection This is my setup actually. Since I have already made a cable management. Okay. Now let's go to our uh, B8. How we connect this to our laptop? So our USB micro, which is from one point to another point, which is the USB, and we have our 3.5 condenser connector so, okay let's connect this first we need a condenser mic the 3.5 should be connected here then the micro USB to be connected to the charging input Then the other point, the USB connector could be connected to our laptop. That's very easy. Then we need our headset. Yes. And we will connect this one to our headset at the back of the the sound card okay so everything is set let's turn on the power just count one two three and then it's automatically on yes so this is my setup So since we already have cable managed our uh, equipments, so this is how it looks on my desk. So that's it. Okay. So now that we have connected our VM800 microphone to our VH sound card, 
The next thing is, let's open our Audacity. Okay. Now, before we start doing the recording, just have to make sure that our input microphone is set to our V8 sound card. Our playback or the speakers also should be set to our V8 sound card. And uh, our recording channel should be in stereo. Okay? Now, how do we uh, attach an audio file to Audacity? There are two ways to do this. First, you go to File, Import an Audio. So now once you target the file that you would be needing, just click it and the files are attached to your Audacity. Okay? Now, another way to do that, let's undo this, is to simply drag and drop. It's just the same thing. Okay? Very simple. Before we start recording, we need to add a new track. So go to track, add new track, just make sure it is a stereo track. Okay? Now, take note, before you press the, this red button or the recording button, make sure that you click this empty track. That is to make sure that when you start recording, the recording starts at this empty track and not from this already recorded uh, format. Okay? So why don't we try recording this? So, dito lang muna para hindi tayo makapiright. Okay? Now, so obviously, as you can see, the recorded audio signal is very low. So, we can process this by going to effects. Now, there are a lot of ways to do this, but for now, let's just use the amplify. Okay? Click amplify. Now, before anything else, highlight that one. Then you go to Amplify, I mean Effects, and then click that. Now, now it's already very visible. Let's increase the track. Okay. Now, the signals are very visible now, so definitely it's also audible. So, what it does, it's just been amplified. It increases the signal. Okay? So, let's try to do the playback again. Let's just minimize some of this uh, volume. So let's play back. Let's jump from here. You'd always ask me this words I say and telling me what it means to me. Every single day, you'll always act this way. How many times I've told you I love you? Oh, this is all I know. So that's basically it. That is our home studio. Now, the very reason why I actually purchased this uh, BM800 is for my voice uh, recording and 
at the same time for my voice over. So it's a budget uh, cost uh, home studio. So that ends our video. So I hope to see you next time on our YouTube.